today's tech tip, I'm going to continue talking about Google searches. I talk about adding quotation marks around phrases that you want to find in Google. Now, normally, if you go to Google and you type in something like Liberty Benton, you're going to get back, in this case, 3.2 million results. That's every Liberty and every Benton out there on, on every web page. But if I modify my search a little bit and just put quotes around Liberty and Benton, it forces Google to return only results that have the word Liberty immediately followed by the word Benton. So I go from 3.2 million to 115,000. I've eliminated the guy in Benton, Arkansas, who's selling his Jeep Liberty and 3.1 million other things. So using quotes forces Google to find an exact phrase. Here's a, a, some fun you can have. If you want to find out something is better than whatever it is you're interested in, just Google it in quotes. If I want to find out what is better than Chrome or what is better than Firefox, maybe I want to know what is better than going to college. Anything you're interested in finding out what people have compared, you could just do this little phrase. And there's all kinds of little things like this you could do to find uh, articles that you might be interested in. As a teacher, let's say you're reading a paper from a student and the writing looks just a little too good. You could pick out a phrase and then hop out to Google and Google that phrase. Now I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it once without quotes. When I do this without quotes, I get 28,000 results. And they're Harry Potter related, but none of these look like the exact thing I want. Here's the thing. I go back the same phrase, but this time I put quotes around it, I find one article. So using quotes around words that you search for will force Google to find those exact phrases.